larger kind of issues is the presence of illegals in India. Illegals is those who are not Indian citizens, but who have now living off India. And uh, some of them have been here for decades. So it's a second generation which is coming in and they come with a particular bent of mind and, and the kind of uh, indoctrination that's being pushed or which is coming from uh, these entities is again uh, a huge cause for worry. I keep saying that the unofficial estimates or some of the reports that they confirm the presence of nearly four crore illegals in our country. Four crore illegals is a huge number, ladies and gentlemen, because it's more than about eight or ten countries in the world don't have this kind of population put together. So, so that is something which is a huge, huge worry for us. The other aspect, and we are getting to that, uh, the kind of presence of radicals amongst these illegals. The amount of radicals and terror outfit members who are influenced by terror outfits who are present on Indian soil is, is really, really alarming. Here's another news that's coming through. This happened earlier in the day where, again, uh, a female jihadi uh, was arrested in Bilasi Pada. Her name is uh, Zahruwa Khatun. She's just 20 years old. She and her husband are linked to Ansarul Bangla and they have been nabbed in Assam. Her husband is accused of being from Bangladesh. We try and go across to Niloy for more details, but off late, there has been a huge crackdown by the Assam uh, ATS against uh, these radical outfits and their operations. It also resulted in 11 or 12 people being arrested in just up uh, from five districts. There was this entire madrasa that was raised down because all, it was all uh, Jamil Huda, which was again uh, sourced, funded by Bangladeshi elements and money that is uh, illegal. Now Niloy joining us. Niloy, who's this person? This uh, Zahruwa Khatun and her husband, how long have they been in India and what were their operations? Right, Anand, uh, first let me uh, describe about Zahruwa Khatun. Zahruwa Khatun is 20 years age. She is class 8 pass and she has married uh, this person who the police has been searching for. Now, uh, Abutallah, Abutallah is, uh, is, uh, is uh, absconding uh, ATB uh, uh, ATP operatives uh, very active in Assam. Uh, the, basically, Assam police is searching for five Bangladeshi national. Those are uh, Ansarul Bangla team uh, operatives in Assam. They have come into Assam either by uh, 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 taking tourist visa or have somehow sneaked into an, uh, Assam to the Podas borders, uh, possibly in Dhubri area or in Karimganj area. But they were staying in uh, this Gualpara, Bongaigao, and Dhubri area. And this uh, person in particular, Ataullah, now he married Zarua Khatun. Now, Zarua Khatun is the daughter of a local AIODF panchayat member. Now, he married Zarua Khatun. Not only he married Zarua Khatun, the most precarious part of the entire story is that he, he trained the, uh, the, the, the class 8 pass Zarua Khatun in sophisticated web technology. Now, Zarua Khatun and Ataullah uh, and the other uh, sleeper cells of uh, Ansarul Bangla team, now, they communicate it through black web. They, they, now, she knows black web. The police in, uh, the, today has said that they, she has destroyed one of the mobile and how, somehow police could uh, procure two of the mobile phones. And that has been examined. More details is likely to come out. But the thing is that now uh, class 8 pass you know, this girl seems, married this to, seems to be a stand. This seems to be a standard operating procedure, Niloy. The moment the crackdown happens, they first try and smash their phones. Even in the Jamil Huda case, uh, the, the wife and daughter, 18-year-old, both of them tried to destroy the phones first. Because they, are, they operate through black web and the black web, but the thing is that the first thing, it is not traceable, it is intercommunicative, and this is high-end sophisticated uh, applications they use in their mobile phone. The moment they are being, the, the, the operations uh, get intensified, they start destroying the phone. In this case also, they have destroyed the phone, so the police cannot get anything, any trace out of the phone, not that the phone exists. Somehow the two phones could have been, uh, could be recovered, or the examination is done. Because of the, another thing is that Ataullah, he, he was there in Dhubri district. He married this lady out there. And both of them traveled all the way from Dhubri. They came to Morigao. They stayed there in Morigao. In this particular madrasa, which we're mentioning, which has been raised down, Jamiudullah uh, madrasa, they stayed there. They gave training, not only training in literature, not only the radicalization or indoctrination person process, but also they gave training in high-end, sophisticated mobile operation and communication link. Now, this is the most difficult part because police cannot train. So, so you are saying that these two are also connected to that same Morigao Madrasa? 
and they were actually teaching in that Morigao Madrasa. So Zarua Khatun is connected to the Morigao Madrasa that was demolished the other day. Zarua Khatun and her husband, both at the Bangladeshi National, an ATB uh, operative in India, both of them traveled down to this Madrasa. Their operation out there, their, their teachings out there, and then they again moved back. When the Borpeta and the Bongaigao operations actually act, was initiated by the police, the modules were busted. Then these people went in hiding. Only one could have been could be arrested so far by the name of mm. Suman, who was there uh, teaching in a madrasa out there in 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 in, in Gualpara right. district. Now, he was there. He is also a Bangladeshi national. So these are only few Bangladeshi nationals who are illegal immigrants. BJP says, Assam, uh, now, if you see the recent uh, population thing uh, that has been uh, that has been published, right. that says that the uh, bordering districts of Assam, along with Bangladesh, the populations have gone up to 32% out there in Muslim populations. So these populations, the police and the administration doubt, they are illegal immigrants who have come into India and are staying in the bordering district, which has actually spiked the population out there. Right. Niloy, thank you for your inputs and startling details, Mr. SP.